and always well behind. Uh, in fact, instantly almost tailed off early on on debut at Newmarket. Very green he looked that day in the early stages. You can hear what I can hear in my ear. You heard that there was no problem there. No. no. The next one's Misfer. <laughs> Skybet Mobile, proud sponsors of Racing UK. So, as I said, our second race, the winner's coming out. It's a Class 6 maiden auction for two-year-olds. Miss Fizz, the 7-4 favourite from 2-1. to one. Inessa Armand is 7-2. Giggly, I'm going to go with Giggly, is 7-1 to one from 6. Mystery Woman is 7-1 to one from 8. Poem is 8-1. to one. Hello Sailor, 10-1. to one. On with the dance, 16. Smiles with his eyes, 33s, along with the G and Whispers. Saki's Ichigu is 50-1. to one. And Candy Mancan is 100-1. to one. So let's discuss Miss Fizz, whom we saw briefly. Uh, horse number two, and Ian Mongan is wearing the green sleeves. There we are, with the orange hoop and the orange sleeves. Uh, now, Mr. showed some showed some encouragement, I think. Um, there was some encouragement from what he showed. Uh, went eight behind Kuan Tan one over the course and distance. I thought he stayed on really quite takingly. Yeah, I thought there was quite a lot of encouragement. I thought also, I thought again, it was green early and didn't get the clearer to runs on the inside. Stayed on under hands and heels. Uh, yeah, taken is a, uh, absolutely right. I think the the the, the family is a family I really like. A family of accuracy, brave tornado, bomb. Oh, is it that family? It is actually. Yeah, uh, I think the dam's a half sister to one of them. So it's uh, it's not direct, but it's in time on breeding. You would on the dam side, you'd expect the horse to want to want further. To be fair, Byron might impart some speed, but it's quite a dominant dam side that I, I found. So I wouldn't be surprised if a mile turns out his minimum. But I think. The form he showed, the bare form he showed, is probably as good as an offer uh, anywhere in the race. And given he didn't have a clear run, wasn't knocked about, and it's his first run, you'd be disappointed if he didn't approve. He's quite clearly the one to beat. It's interesting the point about the, the dam, because his, his more immediate siblings were at the rest up to a mile, weren't they? You just, you, but if you're going back in the dam's family, you find the greater stamina. Yeah, absolutely. And this, you know, we, we'll, we'll wait and see. This might be different, but a lot of them are. A lot of... Um, uh, they bred a lot of the, the, that side of the family to you know, milers and mile and a quarter horses, and they still used to stay. He's, he seems to have s uh, quite a bit of substance about him as well, just looking. I, I, you can, it can be um, deceptive television pictures, as we know, but he does look like he's quite a sturdy horse. I agree, I agree. What are the negatives? It's drawn 11, mm -hmm. and because he's had a race, I'm not saying it'd be a bad thing if he uh, jumps out in front, it's often horses run differently, don't they? You know, where they get green and behind and then yes. run on really well or show lots of promise. It might be a completely different race to him tonight in that he might break quite well from a wide draw. Or we'll have to find out more about him. But the form as it showed definitely shows he has ability. Let's move on to Inessa Armand, who's run three times. Um, and her best performance came two starts ago at Wolverhampton over eight and a half furlongs. Yeah, she hasn't got a mark of the last run came five days ago, but I suspect she'll have a mark, I know, in the 60s, something like that, and what she's achieved. Her best run, they've all been at Wolves, was her, th her second start, as you say, when runner-up. That was a steadily run race, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not sure at the moment whether she's any better than that. She's a, you know, she's prominent in the market, I may be wrong. That's her best form, and that form gives her a chance, but it's comfortably her best form of the three runs and it wasn't in a truly run race. Yes, absolutely. And next time out she was beaten by Saki Zichigu. Uh, Saki Zichigu was fourth and um, Inessa Armand was fifth. Exactly, which is a, you know, which is not more in line. Yeah. Well, you know, that's it. What is a, a doubt. I need to have it proved that um, she's as good as she looked that day, not she looked that good, but you know what I mean? That, yeah. That's her true form. OK. How about the newcomer Poem? Um, the Dylan Thomas filly for Andrew Balding, um, who's got uh, siblings who like a variety of trips. Yeah, I thought the breeding was really interesting, but I thought it was very much a pedigree that suggests she'll do better at three, as it should. It's by Dylan Thomas, a sire already uh, in early stages of his career, like himself, appears to be getting horses who are getting better with time and distances, etc. And I thought a lot of the siblings um, appear to me to be better as they, as they get older. So. A promising run would suggest that the horse has got a career. But having said all that, I said the family is a successful family. Some of them are quite useful. There's some support for her, at least in the market. Stables of runners, I, as a general rule, I think tend to improve for a run. I don't think he has them buzzed up first time out, Andrew Borden. 
Okay. Any others you want to mention? Hello, Sailor um, was blinkered, um, is blinkered for the first time. It's got the, a, a family from a family that I like, um, but will need a trip, you would think. You would think he'd want middle distances next year, and he dropped away quite quickly at uh, Windsor, so he needs to improve. I thought Mystery Woman showed some, some promise first time out. Green early on, mm -hmm. kept on late, was quite prominent in the market, maybe. Yeah, that's of interest. Okay. Interesting first division of this maiden. Let's rejoin Ian. On with the dance to store number four will be the next of them to go to the stalls and then Mystery Woman goes forward which leaves two more for this 32 redpokercom sponsored maiden. The second favourite Inessa Armand in black and pink colours and blinkered for the first time Jiggly who is to go to store number eight will be the last pair. Uh, Jiggly coming forward now takes her position or about to. And also now Inessa Armand, having her fourth run, comes to the gate. The pair go in together, so they're lined up at the mile start. They're off. A get away as they come from the stalls. Uh, on with the dance is the final one to get away from the gates. Inessa Armand with the pink sleeve jacket, one of the first to show outside a candy man can in the red is up there. Jiggly in the dark blue also, and Misfer, the favorite green and orange jacket, a little deep on the course from store number 11 with those. Saki's Ichigo and Poem are the next couple of runners from Hello Sailor and the green uh, with a pink cap, being followed by Aegean Whispers, who shoved along a little bit in the early part of the race. The back marker continues continues to be on with the dancers. Misfa's almost taking it up now as they leave the back straight. The lead still just with Jiggly. Inessa Armand in pink sleeves is back in third in company with Candyman Can. Then Poem smiles with his eyes. A dark jacket, yellow sleeves is next. From Saki's Ichigo, who's already got reminders. Mystery Woman in blue and orange is towards the back of the field with Hello Sailor, the green jacket as they come to the home straight. Aegean whispers and on with the dance of the last couple. But Jiggly continues to be out in front now by around about a length and a half over Misfer, the orange sleeves in second place, Poem run a nice race against the rails, just ahead of Mystery Woman then Inessa Armand, black and pink who's coming through and here smiles with his eyes, the yellow sleeves coming bursting down the centre with uh, Robert Winston to take it up to Misfer, the orange sleeve jacket, Inessa Armand is behind those and Mystery Woman as Misfer is trying to fend off the challenge all the time of smiles with his eyes, who's gone to the lead again, smiles with his eyes is now about a length ahead and goes on to win. To miss for in second, they're clear. Mystery Woman in third, and Hello Sailors just got fourth late on. What a massive step forward from first to second start from Smiles with his eyes. Robert Winston riding for Gay Kellaway. A really good success at 33 to 1 for this Marju Gelding. And he's beaten Misfa, wore him down inside the final furlong. Ian Mongan riding for Sir Henry Cecil. The two of them are well clear of Misty Woman, who again has shown some promise. She's stuck on for a clear third. And Ian was suggesting that Hello Sailor mm. has stuck on in the first time blinkers from the rear for fourth place. Yeah, definite promise by, by, by Hello Sailor. For the trip, mm. for future trips. Future trip, behind early, run on nicely. AG and Whispers has run with some promise as well. But the first two are a long way clear. I don't think there's anything to suggest that Mr. hasn't ran at least as well as first mate. He knew his job, we, you know, we thought that might be the case, but actually he didn't do anything silly from an outside draw. He soon got across, he had to race wide for a while, but by the time the bend came up, I thought he rode a perfect race, um, Ian Mongsley. He got tucked in behind uh, Jiggly or Giggly, you see coming up there into second place, the Hawthorne's perfectly tractable, happy to be sitting in second, quite a professional performance, and throughout the race, I must say, I thought he was probably going to win. It's amazing. What's the early stages? If you've got it on VT, any of you, or you can go on a site which shows them, what's the early stages of Smiles with his eyes raised at Newmarket? He was absolutely clueless that day. And talk about learn a lot in five weeks. He's only settled in mid-division, raced pretty kindly, just knew a ton more about it. And I don't think there's any fluke. I really don't. I think Mr. has had every chance and has run... He battled on gamely when challenged. He ran a perfectly good race in second. On the day, he wasn't as good as the winner. And they pulled 